Alright dude, what is up? So back again with another video. I didn't film yesterday, dude. I didn't film, I didn't upload. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, nothing, dude. My apologies. But uh, back again today, I'm at the mall right now. Um, I, I got some shorts. I did like, not spring shopping, because that sounds weird. But I got like some clothes. Well, just like some, like two pairs of shorts really. That's basically it. From H&M, but uh, I tried one on, the other one didn't fit. They're both the same size, same thing, different colors. So I'm gonna go try to exchange those ones, but uh, back again with another, I don't know if I'm gonna call this a mukbang or a story time. Mukbang's supposed to be when you eat the food and tell the story, but I tell the story and then eat the food after once the camera's off, so I don't know, but I guess story time, yeah, let's do, let's call it a story time. But yeah, I uh, got me some Chick-fil-A, dude. If y'all don't know, I've been going to the gym kind of a lot. I don't really post it on Instagram because I feel like that's weird. Because I feel like there's some people that go to the gym and just take a picture like, yep, went to the gym, bam, and then dip. I don't, I mean, I'm going every day, but I just don't like showing on Instagram and stuff like that. But um, on YouTube, I think it's different because YouTube is like, y'all y'all want to see stuff that I do and post, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got me a salad today, dude. But if we're being completely honest, dude, I don't like salads. But um, I'm trying to eat healthy and just something good and let me pop this thing open. I think Chick-fil-A, I know it's not the healthiest thing. You can go to like Whole Foods and get you some of that 100% farm-raised chicken and all that mumbo jumbo stuff. But uh, I don't know how to cook really much. So this is probably the best thing that's gonna do for today. Dude, so yeah, let's let's see what this salad is talking about. Like I said, I don't eat salad at all. Dude, this is probably like my whole entire life. Probably like my third salad ever, ever my whole life. Well, let's go ahead and put everything in here and see what it's talking about. Oh, yeah, but also, I know y'all seen by the title. I'm probably going to, like, try to clickbait it a little bit, make it sound cool. But, uh, pretty much, I broke my nose, dude. I don't know if y'all could tell on camera or if y'all just think, damn, this dude got some fat-ass nose or what. I'm going to try to see if y'all could see it. Uh, I'm trying to get right in front of the camera. Hopefully, you can see it. I'm not sure, but uh, my nose is broken, dude. A lot of people, y'all might just think I got like a squidward looking nose or something, but really, uh, it's broken. Or it was broken. I don't know if it still is broken. But uh, let me go ahead and tell the story. I'm still setting up the salad, dude. Dude, y'all can't tell me that doesn't look good, dude, with the drizzles and all that good stuff, man. But uh, let's get into the story, man. How I broke my nose. Pretty much, I was. I don't know the exact age. I was probably. If I had to guess. Oh, this thing is good. What? This thing is real good. Is it super good? Or, I was spicy too. <clears throat> Woo! Dang. Yes. <coughs> oh my goodness. Let's cut the AC on a little bit. But yeah, this thing's stupid good or man, it's hot. Really good, or I'm just like super hungry. How I broke my nose, it was like the dumbest way ever. If y'all want to comment now, like how y'all think I broke my nose, comment down below. But I was at my house, man. I was probably I'd say between eight to like ten years old, I think. I think my older cousin, she was babysitting me and my younger cousin. And um I was laying down on the bed. My cousin threw a pillow at me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like it, so I threw it back at her. She threw it back, and it almost hit me in the face. So what I did, I like, the pillow was coming towards this way. I like deflected it up that way. And on my wall, if y'all don't know, I used to play uh, baseball, soccer, football. Um, and I think that's it. I was pretty good in everything, except soccer. I was like decent, I felt like. I had like a shelf, and then there was some trophies on that shelf on the wall. I was like, oh, no, it's not for him. So I threw it up to deflect the saw. I was like, ha, got you. And when I threw it up, the pillow hit the shelf, and the shelf was like on the wall. So the shelf fell, and the trophies were on, the trophies were on top of the shelf. And the like bottom marble piece, whatever you call it, it's like real heavy and like super weighted. It came down and it fell on my nose and broke it, like dang. 
That was a pretty like lean way to break your nose. I think it would have been cooler to say, yeah, dude, I got into a fight and blah, blah, or nah, dude, I was playing baseball and like the baseball hit me in my nose. But I don't really got a cool story, dude. Pretty much, trophy fell on my story and it broke it. And then um, I think my mom, she was gonna take me to the doctor. It was later on that day when she got home from work and the next day I forgot. And we were at the doctor already. I don't know why she decided to do it. She was like, wait, come here, let me see. And she got my nose and went and you could hear something like snap crackle pop in there like bad i was like oh my goodness i don't really remember if it hurt you because it was like a long time ago but it made like a stupid loud pop i do remember that it's a tomato and then we went into the doctor and the dude was like um yeah it's broken but i think my mom she popped it back into place and then the dude was like hey um it's gonna be good, it's gonna like heal on itself. But when you get older, if you can't like sleep good or something crazy happens like that, you just come back up here and they gotta break it and then reconstruct my whole nose. It's like, damn, this seems stupid scary. But it's good because like since then I never had problems, so I never had to get my nose rebroken or anything like that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna finish this and then to HM, right? And I got these, um, really basic like gray shorts just you know something to wear to the gym real quick and i don't know because i got basketball shorts but i feel like basketball shorts are more for being like being at the house and stuff going to sleep and shorts like this to me they're like going not really going out like go to a dinner nothing crazy but like this go out in public you know a bit more presentable so i can wear these to the gym or some sort and i got these exact ones but some pink ones on now and i tried the pink ones on and they fit like perfect dude i like them a lot and it's the same exact thing, just different color. But these feel way too tight, like some crop shorts. Huh? They just look weird on me. So I'm gonna go inside, return these, and if I see anything else cool in there, I'm probably gonna bring my camera and vlog it. Because I need to start vlogging more. Dude, it's almost summer. That means like a whole lot of y'all are probably gonna have more free time. I'm gonna have more free time to like make videos and stuff. So it'll be good for everybody, dude. But hope y'all enjoyed that little story any other story video ideas or suggestions y'all definitely comment down below and uh we can do some more stories now but y'all comment down below do y'all like tony smile i know like a lot of people like there's on instagram people like fighting up here at the mall and this and that oh man quite a the car Oh, let's cross the street real quick. Now, but I always see people fighting at the mall and stuff. Like, I never see it in person. It's more on, like, the internet. But there's, like, a bunch of fights up here, supposedly. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, oh, no. It's kind of weird that I see that on Instagram and stuff. But never in person. Well, not yet. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'll vlog some more once we get inside the, the mall and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we are at the mall right now. It's really nothing in this mall at all, dude. At all, but... Also, y'all comment down below. Just should I do a video? Let me turn this up real quick. Hold on. We are gonna need them. Well, they got some orange ones, too. Right, let's go to the van store real quick. I mean, since we're here, dude, I got the same exact shorts that I got on now, but just another pair. Two pink ones, just because the pink ones fit pretty, pretty good, I think, dude. I had some gray ones, they're cool, but nah, they just, they fit different, it's not good, but they do got a van store up here, let's see if they got any cool vans. I need some more, dude. Let's get some vans, dude. These look blurry, dude, what the heck? Um, just kind of looking. Okay, yeah. Wait, uh -huh. do you see anything you like, um, men's sizes right over here and the end right over there? Uh -huh. Anything with the red orange tag with Beyonce, and if you do see anything you like, you can let me know. Okay, cool, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that might be it for this vlog, dude, but I'll vlog somewhere once we get to the car and all that gets the mess, so yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright, man, but I think that's gonna be it for this video, man. Hopefully you enjoyed. Just a quick story time, quick little mob vlog. Just something real quick, real simple, dude. Um, I know I've been saying that sneaker collection video. I'm, I'm gonna go home right now, try to film it, edit it, upload it. Hopefully tomorrow, if not sometime this week, dude. Pinky, 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 promise you. I need to drop ASAP, dude, but uh, I'm talking way too much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, like I said. If you did, man, leave it a fat, fat, 
fat like man stay tuned a little content drop for soon man all that good stuff so i'll see you on the next video so yeah uh, uh.